Hello shape enthusiasts, welcome back to another episode in our blueprint design series. You'll notice we are in hexagonal mode this time and we are going to be setting up our hexagonal blueprints. The simplest one to start with, I believe, is the rotators. Now I do have some rotators already in my regular blueprint design series and you can check that out in the playlist. But if we grab one of the regular rotators, we can get into a little bit of the uh, stuff with hexagonal. So we've obviously got our three rotators, 180 counterclockwise and clockwise, but they work fine with regular four part shapes. But in hexagonal mode, it's a little bit different. Let's go through it real quick. Now let's just have a look at what our original regular rotators from quad mode do to these shapes. So I'm gonna put down the 180, the counterclockwise and the clockwise rotator. To the end of those, I'm just gonna slap down some bins. Now this is our 90 degrees clockwise rotator, right? And this is a bit of a quirk with hexagonal mode. You can actually see that the 90 degrees rotation is not actually rotating 90 degrees in hex mode. It's only rotating 60 degrees. So that's, while that is a useful blueprint, we need a, something to sort of supplement this a little bit more. What we really need is a blueprint that can do this rotation and a blueprint that can do this rotation twice because we need to do 60 degrees and another 60 degrees totaling 120 degrees in any given direction. If you do a third rotation, you end up with 180 degrees, which is what this rotator does. So that's fine. That means on top of these original rotators that we have already blueprints for, we need uh, a double clockwise rotator and a double counterclockwise rotator. So let's see if we can get those built real quick. I'm just gonna grab another belt of this onto this side and this side and get that ready. And we'll just quickly build something very similar to this from scratch. So you're gonna need this blueprint a lot in hexagonal mode. So invest the time in building it or alternatively, you can download this blueprint from my blueprint folder. Uh, the link will be in the description. So. Let's get our counterclockwise, or we'll start with the clockwise one, but it's really simple. You just basically, instead of rotating once, you're rotating twice. You need two uh, rotators to fill a belt. So we can do that. And then that's just gonna come out. That's basically your design. We're gonna copy that across. We're gonna get this one going to there and we're gonna get this one going to here. And that's pretty much it guys. It's just this design, very, very simple, very straightforward, but also very useful. Might move everything across one tile just to make it nice and clean. I like that. We'll copy that down and give it a flip. Then we will copy all of this up a couple of levels. And that's pretty much it. That is our 120 degree clockwise rotator. Now we can obviously do something very similar for the counterclockwise rotator. We just need to go in here and switch all of our rotators from clockwise to counterclockwise. Of course, we should test that these are all being processed at maximum efficiency, although I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be, but let's just chuck a bin in there and do some testing. While we do that, I'm going to also save all of these rotation blueprints over into a new folder for hexagonal mode. So we're going to create a new folder. These are going to be all our hex blueprints. All right, there's nothing in there at the moment. So the first folder I'm going to create is rotator because we really want to update our bar for hex mode so that um, we have all five rotators in here because we're going to need them all the time and I don't want to access them through my blueprints menu. So let's quickly go and do that. I'm gonna save a copy of this. This is gonna be our 180 degree rotator. Nothing has changed except for the name. I'm just gonna call this rotator 180 and we just, I don't know how am I gonna tag my hex rotators telling me that this is for hex mode. I mean, this one isn't specific to hex mode, but yeah, we'll just call it rotator 180. We'll put it in the hex uh, blueprint series into the rotators folder. Maybe I will tag these with three to indicate they work on three levels. And then I'll do something similar for the other two. Just checking which one this is. Counterclockwise, all right, let's save that one. Give it the counterclockwise icon. Call it rotator counterclockwise. 
and we'll chuck it into that same hex blueprint rotator folder great and we will also save this clockwise rotator into the same folder make sure it is working properly right so we'll put that into hex blueprints rotator we'll call that rotator cw and we'll give it the clockwise icon and we'll give that a three okay great now we'll go over to our new blueprints and this is our double rotation so you can see that is working it is now rotating it clockwise twice so each one rotates at 60 degrees so two rotations is a 120 degrees clockwise rotator I haven't figured out a naming convention for this wait it is clockwise right yes okay so we'll just save this as we'll put it into that same folder we'll call this rotator we can do cw cw cw2 works also cw120 also works so we can do something like that cw2 i mean it's useless for quad mode right because rotating twice is just a 180 degree rotation in quad mode but in hex mode it is useful so let's do that now how do i distinguish this icon from the other icon i want this to maybe we'll put a hexagon in there h u h u then that will be a hexagon icon and that will tell us it's a hexagon rotator specifically maybe that'll be helpful i don't know we'll see and finally we will save this one as a three a hexagon and then we will get that going counterclockwise so that one is a rotator ccw 120 and we will chuck that into the rotator folder excellent now if we look at our blueprints bar we can instead of our old rotator folder we can grab our rotators from our hex blueprints we'll get rid of that and we'll chuck that in did i put something in the wrong folder because i'm missing a ccw 120 where did it go weird i must have saved it into the wrong folder somewhere give me a second let me find it ah here we go i put it in here instead let me just drag it into the right spot great now we have all our rotators now we can't change the order of this stuff but that's fine let's just double check our rotator bar and now we have all five rotators and they're reasonably understandable so i think i like this we've got the names yep great i think this will be a pretty useful series of blueprints for our hexagonal series if you haven't checked that out go check out my channel for the let's play series for hexagonal and i'll have a link at the end of the video as well but that's all folks nice and simple one to start with we'll have plenty more hex specific blueprints coming up so if you don't want to miss out on that don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next blueprints video all right have a good one